Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a spend the day with me vlog. So, hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also, don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I'm doing live streams and also when I've uploaded new videos. So today's Friday, the time has just gone nine o'clock. I've just got out of the shower, hence my hair is wet. I'm going to dry my hair in a moment. Um, so the plan of action is today. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go and do a nice cup of tea and some breakfast. I'm going to watch The Apprentice, uh, the episode from last night. So I'm going to watch that. Hold on, I'm going to do Alan Sugar impression. <clears throat> You're fired. It's terrible. You're fired. With regret, you for anyway, I can't do that. I'm just no good at impressions. But yeah, I'm gonna watch The Apprentice, have some breakfast, then I'm gonna get ready. I wanna try and look smart today. I've already kind of laid my clothes out on the bed, what I'm gonna wear, um, which I don't normally do. I just kind of just get dressed and be like, yeah, I'll wear this, I'll wear this, I'll wear this. But I really wanted to try and look smart today. So I've selected a blue and black check dress some black tights and some little ankle boots and I'm going to team that with um, my black and white checked coat maybe or maybe a black jacket I don't know but anyway um yeah the reason I'm looking smart is because I am going to a tree planting ceremony today and I went to the last one they did it's all for the holocaust memorial and I wanted to go to this year's one as well and I know I shouldn't say this but I'm actually quite nervous um Nervous for a couple of reasons. First of all, you know, I'm socially anxious and awkward and being around a crowd of people, especially people I, I don't know, it, that makes me nervous in itself. But also, look, I'm being honest, it shouldn't be like this. However, it is. There is so much anti-Semitism. This is a kind of Jewish themed event. And, you know, there have been attacks and things. So obviously, to for me, like to go I am a bit scared because I'm like, mm. the last time I did go, to be fair, there were two quite burly police peoples there. So that kind of made me feel a little bit, you know, more safe. But, it, you know, you shouldn't feel like this, you know. But, you know, part of me was like, mm, do I risk it? Do I go? What if something was to happen? But the other part of me is thinking, well, that's what these, you know, people who have got so much hate, that's what they want to stop you know, you go into these sort of ceremonies or celebrating your faith and, do you know what I mean, to make you have that fear and be scared. So I'm not, not going to go. I am definitely going to go. Um, it happens at 12 o'clock. So, yeah, I've got, you know, an hour or so to chill and then I'm going to get ready and then I'm just going to walk up there. So, yes, I will be vlogging. Um, I'll vlog on the way there on the walk and obviously I'll try and get some footage of the ceremony um i don't know kind of who's doing it last year they had the mayor and the ra local like rabbi the head rabbi from the area and the mayor and there was a few other people there from like the police and stuff like that so i don't know you know if there's going to be a, a small crowd a big crowd I, I just don't know but all i know is i am going to be there representing and you know it's, it's so it's so important that we remember um Actually, talking about remembrance, yesterday I was very emotional because obviously it was International Holocaust Day. And that is a day that always makes me kind of very sad and very emotional. I, you know, I watch a lot of the things that I have about it and I read stuff and obviously I knew about it anyway. So it's just when you hear people's like true accounts, like their lives, it becomes even more real when you're listening to a Holocaust survivor talking about their experiences and their families and it, it's just it, it just really gets me um and and so yeah yesterday basically there's this social media thing where you I do it every year you hold up a piece of paper and it says hashtag we remember and then you put the hashtag in on all the social media and you, you know your photo and stuff and what they did yesterday I don't think they've done it before if they have I didn't realize but I think this is the first year don't quote me um what they did the people who organized this they had a massive big like television screen at Auschwitz and they were basically playing like, on, a, on a rotation all these photographs that people had sent in so I actually sent my photograph in like a few days ago um they put it on their official uh page and also I put it obviously on my Instagram page and Twitter and Facebook and stuff but yeah, I don't know. I assume, because my picture is on their website and stuff, that my, my photograph of me holding the We Remember sign would have played out 
in Auschwitz. Like it was literally, the screen was in Auschwitz. And the fact that it said on it, you know, everyone's having this photo saying, we remember. You know, for me, saying to the victims there, you know, we remember you. You know, we hear your stories now. We, we don't forget you. It's very emotional. It, it really gets me. Anyhow, <laughs> I, at the last tree planting, I did cry. I was trying to just kind of keep cool and just like normal because no one else was like, well, people looked upset and stuff. But I was like, oh, my God, I just want to like burst out crying. And I'm, tr I'm trying not to cry this year at the ceremony because I just feel a bit paranoid. But at the end of the day, if it happens, it happens. Like I can't, I can't contain my emotions. I'm a very emotional um, person. I do wear my heart on my sleeve. So if I cry, I cry. It is what it is. Um... But it's all just so sad. Last night, we did, hold on a second, we did our um, memorial candle. And this is a, uh, a Jewish one-day memorial candle. And, and it's obviously not just Jewish people passed away in the Holocaust. And, you know, obviously there have been other genocides. And, you know, obviously, you know, different types of people died in the, you know, the first, the big kind of Holocaust. So... This isn't, you know, a Jewish only candle, but it's the Jewish candle, the memorial candle that we use. And obviously, as I lit it, I said some words and Nathan said some words. And we just kind of, you know, had those people in our thoughts. It's just so tough. It's, it's tough. But anyway, so that is coming up today. I'm going to be going to, as I say, the tree plant in and yeah, just kind of doing, doing my thing and, and paying respects there. Okay, also I'm, you know, going to be having a little wander around, maybe pop in some shops. I don't know if the library's open today. I know that they've had some issues with the local library at Westcliff, so I don't know if it's open or closed. If it's open and it's not too busy, I'll go in there and have a look around, try and get some footage. Um, but obviously if they're not, I won't. Or if it's busy, I won't. So we'll see. But um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else I've got to do today. I've got some filming to do. I've got some editing to do. I did a video yesterday um, that I must edit. So I'm going to do that. And other YouTube work, you know, doing comments and um, uploading videos and all that jazz. And all that jazz. Um, me and Nathan did some more Lego last night. If you don't know, me and Nathan, who's my lovely fiance, um, we've got into Lego again. Big time. <laughs> Basically, we were talking a little while ago about toys that we used to love and play with as kids. And we were both kind of like, oh, I love Lego when I was a kid. And he was like, me too. And we both like spoke about what different sets we had, different figures. So we basically decided to be adult kind of Lego collectors and, and make little like scenes and have little different minifigures. And yeah, we're going to put them in our like uh, loft room. We've got like a table in there. Nathan's going to do his long kind of scene on the top of the table. We've also got different like cabinets and stuff and shelving units. So it, it's going to be a little bit of a Lego haven up there. Um, but yeah, we've been making stuff in the last well, week or so. And I say we've been making, it's mainly Nathan who makes them. And I just kind of pass different bricks and he'll be like, I need a blue brick square, you know, and I'm like, this one. And, but you know, I've said kind of recently, I want to start doing it as well, but I just really struggle. Like, I know it's really sad because Lego is obviously made that children can, <laughs> can build it. But like, I don't know, I end up putting things the wrong way. Or I'm like, I don't know where this part is. Where does it go? But I did actually manage to make a couple of things last night. All right, a bit, a little bit of help from Nathan. But I, I did better. And actually, the other night, I made a little car, a little man in a go-kart. Um, I must do, when everything's done, you know, well, not everything, but when we've got quite a big selection of our scenes done, um, I must do, like, a little video on here, like, like a little tour of the, you know, Lego scenes and stuff. Nathan's theme is kind of like pirates and um like knights and stuff like that um my scene is more of a kind of city vibe i'm um, gonna be doing a bookshop a calf i've already got like a park an amusement park which is what we made last night which i'll show you in a second um with like different rides and stuff and um what was the other thing i was gonna do oh i've got a camper van i've got a lovely like um log cabin Honestly, it, it's very addictive. And then <laughs> I've got loads of minifigures that um, are, we're waiting for in the post that are, are coming. So actually, I can show you a couple of my minifigures here. I've got my little librarian who I absolutely adore, being a bookworm. She's got a mug saying, shh, 
because she's in the library. She has got a little book as well. So she sits on the bookcase. And I thought she looked a little bit lonely, so I got her a little friend here the other day with his magnifying glass and uh, look, he's got his little newspaper. <laughs> so I don't know if they're dating or if they're just friends. Hmm. <laughs> but um, let me show you this. So this is Nathan's. I've got to be really careful. This is... I don't want him to come home and I've broke his Lego. Uh, so how cool is this? It looks like a tree. And um, yeah, some little figures there at the front. This one, he bought it online. This one is the girl. And they didn't send her any legs. She got no legs. That's why she's so low down. Um, but Nathan contacted Lego and apparently they're going to send like a, a replacement part because it was a new set that he bought. So that's fine. Um, so we're waiting for her legs in the post. Um, but look, oh, oh God. Uh, he looks like Robin Hood. <laughs> He's got a little mushroom down there as well. Right, hold on. I'm going to try and... I don't want to knock anything. I'm going to move the target out of the way. Now, it opens at the back. Now, how did he set it opened? Is it here? God, maybe I shouldn't do this without him. Oh, it's all right. I've done it. I've done it. Okay, so they are coming along. It's just a tree. Or is it? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so, yeah, apparently in here... There's the gold, not real gold, obviously. Uh, there's a little ladder. So they get up there and they shoot and that from there. So, yeah, I like the little tree as well. So that's Nathan's creation. He has done a few other things. He's, um, oh, yeah, it's also into like his Star Wars themed Lego as well. So he's, he's got some of that to make. Now, mine that I done last night, or we done last night, is a uh, amusement park theme. So we've got the banana. How cool is this? You know, like the boat. <laughs> Hold on, I'll turn it around. So you've got the monkey there with his banana. But look, it's the boat and it swings. I used to absolutely... Sorry, it's not swinging. There we go. It's because I'm holding both sides together. Um, yeah, when I was a kid, I used to love going on these boats. We had a massive boat at Adventure Island. I don't know if it's still there or not, actually. I think it is. But yeah, I can't do it for a while because it's got me on a flat surface. But you can kind of get the... And you've got two little minifigures in there. She's got her, her ice lolly. Uh, and we've also got, oh, this is so adorable. It's Hooker Duck. <laughs> so cute. And look, it spins round as oh, as well. And you can actually, yeah, you get to throw, you know, onto, oh, I think there's a frog as well. Yeah, Hook Duck and a Hooker Frog. And also we've got the Strength Tester. You know, like the one you get the little mallet, which is here. And the minifigure has to... I can't even get it up to the top. What? Come on. Hey. I was like, God, I am weak. <laughs> I knew I wasn't strong, but geez, no. So, yeah. I actually... I did most of this one, actually. And I made most of the hooker duck. But the boat was um, a little bit more tricky. I didn't do that one. But, uh, yeah. It's really good fun. And... You know, not only is it kind of fun therapeutic to do Lego, but as a couple, like, I'm really enjoying, like, me and Nathan just kind of turning the TV off, sitting at the table for, like, an hour or whatever, and just making the Lego figures together. It's it's coupley, you know? We're doing something together. And I think, as a couple, it's really important that, yes, we have our own hobbies, we do our own thing, but we also have things that we do together and an interest that we like together. I think it brings us closer. I think it's fun. And it gives us lots of stuff to talk about. So... Yeah, I'm really enjoying having a Lego hobby. Anyway, I'm a geek. Right, so, um, so yeah, obviously, I think, um, have we got any more Lego to do? No, I think the next part, the Lego that we've ordered is coming next week, maybe? I can't remember. But there is a little toy shop called Argosy, which is right near where I'm going today, so I might pop in there. I'll try and get a bit of footage, but it's... I'm not sure because they can be a little bit funny in there with filming and stuff because I've tried in the past. So, I'll, you know, if I can get footage, I can. If I can't, you know, it's because they're kind of looking at me going, stop filming. Um, but anyway, we'll see. Okay, also today I'm going to do some reading. I started a new book last night, which I'll go grab. I'm just running off. I'm running off every five seconds. Uh, right, okay, so this is my current read. And it's by Talia Haber, and it's called Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute. I love this cover. And look, she's got a UFO t-shirt, which is pretty cool, an alien t-shirt. And Curvy Girl, yay! It's nice to see a Curvy Girl rep 
on a cover of a book. So this is a YA, it's an enemies to lovers romance and um, she did a series called Get a Life Chloe Brown which everyone goes on about. I've never read it um, but I think I probably will be at some point because I'm really liking her writing style and stuff. Um, I don't know if that series was YA or if it was New Adult or I don't know but I really am enjoying this I have to say. Um, but I'll tell you more about this later when I do actually sit down and have my reading session. I'll read the back to you and tell you more about it. Ah, also, uh, what is tonight? Friday night. I might do a live stream tonight on the ASMR channel. I'm not sure. I might just upload a video. We'll see how it goes. Or I might do a live stream on this channel. I don't know. I might not do any live streams. <laughs> um, but we'll see. I don't like planning a live stream because sometimes I plan it hours in advance. And then when it comes to it, I either get super anxious and nervous and, and just can't face it and end up cancelling, or I'm really tired, or I don't feel well, or I end up just engrossed in my book or a TV show and think, oh, you know, I don't want to do a live stream. So I don't like kind of planning to in advance. So I kind of just go with the flow of if I feel like it at the time, I'll press go live on my phone and that's that. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think what else I'm doing. Just, you know, yeah, a bit of filming bit of reading and uh yeah that's that <laughs> oh sorry I'm so not with it I'm very tired I didn't sleep very well last night it's been like three nights in a row I've not had good sleeps and and I'm quite quite tired so I need to wake up right let's go do a cup of tea have some breakfast and watch you fired the apprentice I love this cup. It's so cool. From Poundland, you know. One tea bag. Milk. Some sweeteners. Give it a stir. I love this like two layered effect and it's really cool because this side is really cold like look I can touch it and it's just cold obviously not in there because I just poured in hot water but <clears throat> it's just kind of the outer layer stays cold cheers okay so this is what I'm wearing my little blue and black checked dress and my boots Got my cardigan as well because it's a little bit chilly but um yeah i think i look quite smart maybe hopefully a little bit of makeup on as well a little bit of blue eyeshadow only a little bit some lip gloss i've got a bit of blusher on and foundation can't cover that spot though it's huge <laughs> but, um okay all right let's go i'm Getting a bit anxious, you can probably tell, but we're gonna go. Let's do it. Whew. I'm running a little bit late, and uh, I blame my OCD for that because, oh, sorry, I forgot how annoying wearing lip gloss is. My hair keeps sticking to my lip gloss, anyway. Whew. Yeah, running a bit late because. I just had to do my OCD checks again and again and again. Uh, some days are worse than others. Annoyingly today, where I've got to be somewhere at a certain time, my OCD decided to go into overload. And I was like, check this, check this, check this. No, check it again, check it again. It's horrible. So I'm now, I think I've got like 10 minutes till 12 o'clock when it starts my heart is racing because I'm trying to rush and I'm also anxious so that's great <laughs> I'm so <sighs> hopefully it'll be like last time where they started like you know, five ten minutes later but no doubt this time they'll be there all on time and I'll miss it but end of the day at least i'm going and i get to see you know the beautiful tree that will get planted and the whole kind of you know idea of it and 
<sighs> yeah obviously I do want to be there when they're doing it <laughs> and doing the speeches and oh, just so annoyed with myself OCD sucks it really does suck because like you know I was really on time you know but the, the checks just take so long that it's made me a bit late but I try and hurry up I might do it <laughs> hello you are I might do it I might get there on time <sighs> anyway I'm gonna stop vlogging for a bit and just kind of try and walk a bit quicker if I can I've only got little legs <laughs> I feel nice and smart though which is good and uh, yeah I'm just gonna try my best wish me luck I'm nearly there <laughs> we're getting there I don't know how I'm doing for time it's literally gonna be touch and go if I get there on time but I'm walking as quick as I can hey Betty how you doing <laughs> okay so you can see a crowd of people up there and I'm about <laughs> two minutes away <laughs> hey Charlie I don't know how I've got here in time it's fate and destiny made me literally uh oh footway closed go around this way <laughs> literally on time oh that's a bit of quick walk in there I really didn't think I'd get here on time <sighs> it's nice to see big crowd compared to last time there's only a few of us so you know still not loads but you know the fact there's more than last time is good so yeah I made it on time Whew. okay all right see I'm just at Westcliff library now and uh, as you can see crowd of people there I do always feel kind of awkward at these things because I don't know anybody and I just kind of stand on my own but it's what it is it's good to be here you know? there's a the rabbi there I think that's the mayor or is it I don't know one of them's the mayor possibly I don't know I feel so nervous and anxious it's ridiculous standing in crowds not my thing but I'm proud of myself for doing it not only for beating my anxiety to get here but for being here for the ceremony so <laughs> should start any moment President of our Senegal all distinguished guests and everyone else <laughs> the plebs as I say including myself few ideas before we finish off the planting I was looking forward to a real planting today, but I don't know, they've done half the job for us, haven't they? Efficiency. Yeah, absolutely. As usual, the council is very efficient. <laughs> right, okay. I share with you what it states in Genesis chapter 2, verse 9. After God had put humans into the garden of Eden, it states, that he caused to grow, and I'll say it in the Hebrew as well, called every tree that is pleasant to sight and good for food.
Okay, so I am feeling a real kind of mixture of emotions right now. Um, very emotional after the uh, tree parting ceremony. It was beautiful. The rabbi spoke really well and so did the mayor. It was all very touching and beautiful and sad. And just, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased I was here and part of it. Very proud of this and who I am. Um, and then <laughs> mixture of emotions because <laughs> I wanted a photo. Oh my god, I wanted a photo with the tree. <laughs> Sorry, with the tree, and I must have put my foot on the wrong bit, and I nearly fell into the tree. <sighs> I literally had to hold on to it. And as you can see, it's only a little thin tree, and I was like, Ooh! you know. Anyway, a couple of people saw. And they were laughing, but they were laughing with me, I think. But no, it was, it was really lovely. And, well, not the falling in the tree bit, but the whole, you know, caboodle. And also, you know, you never going to believe this. The person I spoke to the most, I had like a 10 minute conversation with her, was a priest, a female priest. Um, which, by the way, can I just say that's amazing that, you know, women, that females can, you know, be priests. It was, it's a lovely thing to see. Now, back in the day, it was only a male thing, but now females, and it's all good. Anyhow, she was so lovely. I just, I was looking over and I thought, look, most of these people here are Jewish, right? Or they know each other and stuff. And she was just kind of standing there on her own. And so I just, I went over to her and I said, look, you know, I, I know I'm a bit awkward and I'm a bit weird, but I just want to say thank you for coming here. It's nice to see, like, you know, people of different faiths, you know, showing up to something like this and yeah she was really i think well i think she was really grateful for me to say that and then we just had like this really really nice little chat and talked about religion and faith and how you know each of us can be you know different religions but we can still get on and respect each other and i said it was a beautiful thing that you know different people could just talk and have respect and you know come together especially on a day like this where we're remembering such a you know awful sad thing and <sighs> anyway, but it was just so surreal. So I nearly cried. I nearly fell in a tree. I spoke to a priest, and oh, and then I had a selfie with a mayor, and that was quite embarrassing. I just went up to him and I was like, "Excuse me, could I have a selfie with you?" Which made him feel like he was like I don't know, celebrity or something. But come on, he's the local mayor. He's self and mayor. Wanted a selfie with him, all right? But anyway, I will include some photos in the video. So uh, have a look for those. Oh, look, here, it's on the sign here. Hold on. Sign, this is what I was at. So, the theme for this year is Ordinary People, and it was the tree planting ceremony. There we go. So, you can come and see the tree. Um, obviously, in time, it is going to grow. The tree they did last time uh, is at Victoria Avenue, and it's huge, and it's really beautiful. I think they said the leaves were going to be, like, yellow, if I remember rightly. Um, hopefully there'll be a bit of rain at some point well there will be, it's England so there's going to be rain and it'll obviously help it um, they did ask people if they want to kind of shovel the earth on and I really did want to do it but the, the thing was huge and I thought that's going to be bigger than me that's not going to happen so I didn't do it but I nearly fell into it so in that respect I'm still a part of this tree <laughs> but yeah, there we go okay, right, let's, let's walk away the crowds have obviously, you know, gone down and you know because i'm a bookworm i am at westcliff library why not go in the library have a little look around even though i've got so many books i don't need any more books but oh, that was loud all right let's go into the library oh god it's got a lovely smell in this library i love the smell of like old books and old libraries okay let's have a little look around i love that book true crime story was amazing just saw this one the holiday bookshop oh they've got the new one from jp delaney i love the girl before that was very good hmm, what's this one about it's like i've got a display here holocaust themed display which is good 
I wish they'd, um, they'd done this at South End Library. There should be more of a display at South End Library, but anyhow, it's nice that there is one here. Oh, this is coming back. The Lumino City Festival of Lights. When's that? 16th to the 18th of February. Okay. Last year, um, <laughs> I had to cancel it because it was really bad winds like it was so windy that they had to take it all down which is really sad i'm um, just having a little look at the notices and stuff oh wow what is this keith gray houdini and the five cent circus huh. i might have to have a little look at that one I know it's a kid's one, by the way, but I'm obsessed with anything to do with Houdini and magic. Oh my, looks like me in the morning. <laughs> this is so cute, look like the little kid's section. So adorable. Oh look, I see like, is that Duplo, Lego-y stuff? It's not for me, it's for the children. <laughs> oh, and Frank. I'm really pleased that they've got like Holocaust stuff in the kid's section. Do you know what I mean? Because it needs to be taught from a young age about what happens so people never forget, you know? Just a little library garden, which obviously it's too cold to sit out there now, but in the summer, it's very nice, little benches and stuff. Little trees, which is nice. Oh, I see goodies. Goodies, what they've got here. Little cute things. <laughs> Okay, so got a little book. It's very peaceful and relaxing. There. I need to come up here and actually read in this library. Anyway, lovely tree. Just going to show you what it says there. Holocaust Memorial Day, 27th of January, 2023. There we go. Well, good luck, tree. Good luck and growing and being beautiful. Right, let's get out of here. I'm going to go, I don't know if they're open, but there's a little charity shop right up there. So we're going to see if they're open. I haven't been there for ages. I don't know if they uh, close down or not, or can't really see from here. Yeah, it's really peaceful now. I should sit in there and just read. Because I've got the South End Library, and I'm not being horrible, but sometimes it's really difficult to get like quiet time. Because like look, people are talking, and obviously it's part of the university. There's lots of students there, and they're quite loud. Naughty, naughty students. <laughs> oh, are they open? Since I think they are. Yeah. Well, there's an open sign, so that's a good start. Oh, hello. <laughs> I love that little wooden post box. That's nice. Lots of fitnessy, eat healthy stuffs. Um, oh, that looks like it's one of them where you do your sit up thing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have a little look in here. Our place is still open. Just having a look. Yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff in here. So, uh, oh, what's that? A little fairy door. Spotted that. Fairy welcome guide. All right, anyway, I'm just standing here. Let's go in. love this globe look at that three quid it's beautiful i like like the black and silver of it is that squirrels I'm sure that's squirrels on that where's that from next four pound i'm sure that's a squirrel looks like a squirrel i could be wrong <laughs> 
Oh wow, that's cool. That MTV t-shirt. But look at the colour of it, like bright pink and blue. It was sparkly as well. Or is that a night dress? Actually, I think it's a night dress. I don't think it is a um, t-shirt. It's a bit long. Unless you wear long t-shirts. I don't know. I found this uh, superheroes duvet cover as well. I will show you when I get home. I'll do a little haul, okay? Little bookends with like golf on that. They're cool. Wilma, hello babe, you had a good morning, this is my beautiful fish daughter, Wilma, you alright? <laughs> I think I'm annoying her, am I annoying you, am I embarrassing you? She's trying to get away, She's look. trying to swim away, look, where are you going? Okay, so I'm going to do a quick little haul now just to show you what I got from the charity shop. So first of all, I got this box set of books. They are uh, Lemony Snicket, a series of unfortunate events. So there are 13 books in this set and they're all hardbacks. Um, I'm just trying to find so I can show you the artwork on the box because it's really nice. Hold on. So you've got this side here. But the main side of it is just so nice. Hold on. It's so heavy, by the way. There we go. The Complete Wreck. So, yeah, all 13 books uh, in this box set. And I've got it for a tenner. So, hopefully, this will sell really well. Um, it is quite heavy. That's the only thing. So, I'll have to put, like, I don't know, £6 postage or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, got that. Uh, what else did I get? Right, okay. I'm going to sit down on the floor because everything else I think is in this bag. Or bags. Oh, hit the phone by accident. Ouch. <laughs> hit my finger. Uh -huh. Right, I've got this. This um, originally is from Sheen. Or Sheen. I don't know how to say it, but anyway. But it's this size large sweatshirt, jumpery thing. Um, and it's kind of like this mix of leopard print and just like black and white so i know she and stuff does quite well on ebay um and who don't love a bit of leopard print right now this here i wasn't sure if it's a really long t-shirt or if it's a night dress but i'm gonna go with the fact that i think it's a night dress and it is an mtv night dress pretty damn cool i have to say love the um pink and blue and stuff so got that that's a size 16 i think now these are collectible playing cards i looked them up on ebay so they're mucha dreams mucha 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 i don't know dreams um and yet they are brand spanking new i don't know if i lift the lid you can see look they're all completely sealed which is amazing. Um, so I'm hoping that they sell well. How much did I pay for those? Oh, four quid I bought them for. So hopefully I'll make a bit of profit on eBay with those. Uh, this is like um, a trouser suit, like a play suit. All in one kind of thing. It's from Boohoo and it's a size 18. That's that. This I got, it's weird. This one was actually on the pound rail and I was like, wow, that's good for a pound. And then when she put it on the till, like she was like, oh, um, hold on, look, it's, it's marked as a pound, look, that's all been crossed off on the pound rail in red. And she's like, oh, that shouldn't be a pound. <laughs> I was like, but you, you literally put it as a pound. Anyhow, it's because of the, you know, the receipts, are, are the, sorry, the tags are on it is all new. Um, so I understand, but she let me have it for two quid. So I was like, all right then. Originally it was 15. Um, and it's this long, like, kind of hippie style dress. And uh, it is really nice. 
I like the colouring of it. You can't really see in this light, but it, it is really nice. For two quid, that's a, a blooming bargain. Now, this top here could be for me, or it could be on eBay. Um, this is originally from yours. I'm not even sure if I haven't tried this on in the shop, you know. It's very familiar. But, yeah, this is from yours, and I'm trying to see. What was the size of it? I don't know if it was, yeah, it was a tw size 20. Um, and, yeah, it's all, like, black um, with pretty flowers on and that. So, yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to fit or if it's going to be too low here or I don't know. We're going to try it on, and as I say, if I don't like it, it'll be on eBay. It's yours, so hopefully it should do well. Um, I'm having a wrestling match there with a bag. And the last thing for eBay, I've got... Uh, this um, is a duvet cover. It's a single duvet cover with pillowcase, which is here. Just check in. And it's all like superheroes. Um, I'm trying to find who we've got here. I think that... Is that Wonder Woman? I don't actually know who that is. <laughs> I'll have to ask Snowfin. I don't think it is Wonder Woman. Uh, who else have we got? Uh, Captain America. Iron Man. That's Thor. I don't know who that is. I honestly, like, if you know in the comments, let me know. But I thought it was Wonder Woman, but she looks too, like, scary to be Wonder Woman, so I don't know. Um, I have no idea who that is either. Is he from Guardians of the Galaxy or something? I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah, I paid £3.50 for this single duvet cover. Um, and the superhero stuff normally does pretty good. Um, oh, and for an ASMR video that I've got planned, I got these 12 bendy rollers for a pound. Brand new as you can see in the packaging and I <laughs> I used to have these in my hair when I was like a teenager before my mum let me have a perm which took a while to you know convince her that I did actually you know want to have my hair permed um I just used to use these bendy roller type things to make my hair a bit curly and wavy they do actually work well um but you do have to leave them in a long time so it's easy if you just want to curl your hair to use like you know actual heat thing but yeah it, it's just an idea i thought i've done a video like this in the past and it actually did quite well people enjoyed the sound of like the different like the like the packaging and the like the sound of like the bendy rollers and the visual of it as well so yeah i'm gonna film this either today or tomorrow because uh yeah that was a good video that i've done with these before so that is what i picked up from there's a charity shop. I'm going to put all this in um, a bag. I'll put it in that big red bag, actually. But, yeah, um, I have been having a little read. I will tell you more about my book in a bit. But, um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I mean, it's not wow factor, but it's okay. So I'm going to kind of just carry on with it for a bit. If I start to get bored, I'll DNF it. But it, it's all right at the moment. It's it's enjoyable to a degree, if that makes sense. Um but yeah, I think the thing with enemies to lovers books, it's always so predictable. Like they can't stand each other now, but clearly they're gonna. And it's like, mm, I don't know. But anyway, I'll, I'll you know, I'm gonna carry on with it, see how I go. Um, also, I ended up having a little nap for like half an hour, I think. Um, I had something to eat as well. Um, helped do the washing and like the tumble dryer washing and the washing machine washing and washing <laughs> um it's absolutely freezing we've got all the heating on but it's still super cold everywhere um so yeah right i'm gonna put all this away and then me and nathan are gonna go up in the loft and we're gonna sort out uh, some of the lego um because we've got the idea of putting the lego on like some shelving units and some cabinets and um, just kind of try and see what room we've got and where to put it and stuff and yeah try and plan because we're making like different scenes with the lego so we want to see what's going on what scene so yeah that's what we're going to do um and then he is going to stay up there because he's got some bits and pieces to do with his pokemon stuff and i'm going to come down here i've got editing to do um probably put a video public might do a quick premiere or something um so yeah that is the plan all right, so the time is now 20 to 11. Um, I haven't been vlogging for the last few hours because the truth is I completely forgot. Uh, <laughs> I was sitting here and then I was like, I haven't vlogged in hours. But anyway, I'm here now and I can tell you about, you know, what I've been doing. Um, so I had something to eat and we watched a few YouTube videos. 
Um, I can't remember his name, but he's got like a lot of subscribers, like over 600k. Um, and he does lots of like interesting, like kind of, I don't know, top 10 this, top 10 that. Um, and he does a lot of like Lego themed videos as well. So we watched a video about like Lego um, products that haven't particularly done very well. And the, some of the reasons were really funny why they hadn't done well. And some of them were like, oh. Um, but yeah, so I watched some YouTube videos, um, flicked through the shopping channel shopping channels galore uh we didn't buy anything but you know it's, there's something relaxing and therapeutic about watching the shopping channels and i don't even know why it just it just is um also i've done a video premiere i think there's like one person there who spoke to me uh so that was like sad whenever i do video premieres if there's a lot of people in the chat room it's cool because i get to chit chat and stuff but when you're just kind of sitting there and no one's talking to you. It's just really awkward. I just sit there kind of just watching my own video, which is really cringe. But anyhow, I've done that. Done all the comments and stuff. Did some editing. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Done all that. Um, which kept me quite busy. Um, and now I'm going to settle in for a comfy reading evening. Nathan is over there doing some bits and pieces with his um, eBay and stuff. And I have got one... Two, three books over here. Now I'm only reading one at the moment, which I will tell you about. The reason why I've got three um, is because I'm weird. No, <laughs> it's because two of these are from, well, they're all from the library, but these two are the ones I picked up. And I just want to kind of give them a little trial go to see if I'm going to vibe with them or not. Um, this is Saint by Adrian Young. It says, Return to the Narrows with the prequel to Fable. So yeah, I think it's Fable and Namesake. Um, and I'm sure the lovely mini book chats, Kate, has, has read this series and really loved it. I think she might even have it when she films on her bookcase behind it. But anyway, um, but this is the prequel, so it doesn't give me any like spoilers for, you know, what ha what happens kind of thing. And I won't, I wouldn't have had to kind of read those, like, do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm rambling, sorry. Sinner, Saviour, Saint. So these are like YA um, pirate themed kind of books. So it might be another series I can get into or it might not. I don't know. So I'm going to just, like, I normally give it like a little, either a first chapter, if it's a small chapter or just like, you know, five pages just to get a feel for it. Uh, the other one I have is A Dark Inheritance by H.F. Ask With. I think that's how you say it. Ask With. Um, in 30 days, I will die. Ugh. This is, um, I think, like a dark academia, possibly, which I don't do very well with. It might not be. I don't, to be honest, I don't really know much about it. I saw the cover and I was like, oh my god, that's gorgeous. And I read it really quickly. Um, maybe it's not. It's, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. A twisty gothic horror fantasy. Well, there you go. I was completely wrong. I think it's got something to do with like an inheritance, and obviously because the title, I'll probably give it away. And like some a family and like a curse or anyway I don't know but I'm gonna give it a little go it's literally only just come out so I'm very lucky because my local library does do like the newer books you know that have just come out um and yeah so this is my current read which I can now tell you about um so it's YA and it's called Highly Suspicious Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert and it says could you brave the wilderness with your highly suspicious and unfairly cute ex-best friend Bradley Graham is pretty much perfect. He's a star football player, manages his OCD well enough, and comes out on top of all his classes, except the ones that he shares with Celine Bangura. They used to be best friends until Brad decided he was too cool for conspiracy theory obsessed Celine, abandoned her for the popular kids' table. At least that's how Celine sees it. These days, there's nothing between them but insults and academic rivalry. Uh, when Celine signs up for a two-part survival course in the woods, the last thing that she expects is to find Brad right beside her. As the adventure begins, sorry, as the adventure brings them closer together, they start to remember all the good things of their history. But has too much time passed, or just enough to spark a whole new kind of relationship? I think it's pretty obvious they're gonna have a, you know, romance. But I don't know. As I said, I. <sighs> enemies to romance books like i know it's such a big trope and it's a really popular trope with books but like it, it's just so predictable like that it's obvious that 
they're going to get together. I don't know, but I, I suppose it's, it's about finding how they get together. Do you know what I mean? That's the story of that trope. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's all right. I'm on page 63, um, which is not even near halfway. But, you know, like, it's still kind of early. We're not going to bed early. Obviously, it's the weekend, so I'm in a late night. And the TV's off. It's nice and quiet. Nathan's over there doing his thing. I'm here, so... I'm just going to try and get into it and see how I get on. It is quite fun. It's cute. It's fun. I actually like the guy character who's... What's his name? I've got his name already. Bradley. Bradley's nice. I really like Bradley. Um, and he's got OCD, which is what I've got. Um, I don't really like the girl. I still can't remember her name. What's her name? Oh, Celine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really feeling her. I don't, don't, I don't, I don't like her. I think she's a bit moody. Which, really, I should like, because I'm a bit moody. <laughs> but we'll see. i see. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get on my read here. Um, and then, yeah, just going to chill, relax. And, you know, when Nathan comes back from doing his thing, we might watch something on TV together. Um, we've still got that, what's it called, The Conjuring. There's a documentary on the real Conjuring house with the family that were, you know, obviously haunted and possessed and stuff. But every time we talk about watching it, I'm like... Um, <laughs> start getting a little bit scared, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the rest of the evening. Um, I've been looking on eBay as well. I'm desperately looking for, for my Lego thing. Um, for my scene, I've, I've got this lovely little park in my mind, so I've got bits and pieces for it. Um, and I just I, what I really want is like a little kind of drink related thing. So I've got a pop, uh, pop stand, a popcorn stand thing coming, but I want something to like the let the Lego people drink. So it's either going to be that slushy, uh, it's like a slushy, what is it? What would you call that? A slushy van? Yeah, slushy, van. slushy van. It's got like a massive um, slushy on the top of it, and like the actually inside the van, there's a little slushy machine. It's super cute. It's like 17 quid, so it's not too bad, actually. It's quite a decent price for a medium-sized, um, you know, little van and stuff. And it's got little bits of accessories in it. So, <sighs> I want that. Or maybe some form of, like, little stand that I could put some drinks on. I don't know. Anyway, I've been looking on eBay for Lego stuff. <laughs> oh, Lego, Lego, Lego. My new obsession. Um, yeah, recently I got obsessed with scrapbooking and I? I started doing all my scrapbooking I've done one page and that's that but I, I will get back into it so I, I, I've got it all I've got some ideas for scrapbook pages and but look you know I have autism and part of autism is you know having obsessions uh, obviously not everyone can I just say not everyone with autism does get obsessions but I think it's quite high up with things um, that people do get but I do get it where I'm obsessed with something and then I just don't want to do it and I just get a new obsession. And scrapbooking was the last one. <laughs> Lego is, is now that. And, and I literally, I can't stop thinking about Lego. I'm even dreaming about it. Sleep talking about Lego. Waking Nathan up talking about Lego. And yeah, it's, it, it's not just a little bit obsessed. It's like big time obsessions. Um, so yeah, Lego is my my current one but I've got to stop it because like it's not good I no 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 more Lego tonight don't let me look, look at any more Lego until tomorrow <laughs> anyway listen I'm gonna head off I'm gonna read um heaters on so hopefully she'll warm me up I think I sound a bit stuffed like up in my nose a little bit blocked and bunged up which is really annoying. Not another cold. My dad's not well with a cold. He's got a really bad cold. He said he was up most of the night because he couldn't, like last night, he couldn't sleep. He was so, like, blocked up. Um, so, yeah, he's done, like, a test and everything. It's not COVID, but, like, it, it's just a really bad cold. Um, but I think it's just the weather. It's so, like, it's so cold all the time. You know, even today we had the heater on, but it was still super, like, super cold. It didn't really make much difference, so... I'll put my woolly jumper on, keep me warm, and I've got the, the fire on, so. And what's what's what's, I've got my blanket over there, so I can put that over me as well. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe, smash the notification bell, 
Um, also, don't forget to check out Minx Laura 123 ASMR Mother YouTube channel. Links down below, as are all the links to my social media platforms Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads, and I have a thrown wish list. If you care to spoil me and treat me, um, I've added some new bits and pieces on there. I've got some Lego, I've got some arts and crafts stuff, I've got um, Nightmare Before Christmas, got some clothing, like just random stuff, really. So feel free to spoil me. <laughs> Alright, everyone, take care of yourself. Peace out. See you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye.